in the USL schedule, it doesn't come up too often. We get to play back to back at home. What's your thoughts on uh, having two home games here? Yeah, I mean, obviously we're excited. We always love to be in this stadium. Our fans get behind the team. Um, you know, 100%, and I think that's what the players need right now is to get the, the support in here. And when when the support is loud, it just inspires everybody around to maybe that extra yard or maybe make that extra save or that extra touch to, to get the goal. So we really appreciate our fans here and really appreciate being in the stadium. So to have two games back to back so close together, um, you know, we want to make sure that we come out and deliver good performances. And when the fans leave this building, that they can be very proud of the efforts of their team has shown that evening. And with the World Cup just ended, what are your thoughts on England's performance uh, this year? Yeah, no, I think um, I think England is uh, you know starting to get a bit more progressive in its approach. Um, you know, the 17s and 20s won their World Cups, and the, I think the 21s were were finalists in the Euros. Um, and then obviously the first teams had a solid World Cup. Um, you know, I think. England can compete with anybody on any given day, but it's how long they can sustain that forward during the course of the game. So, you know, against Croatia, I thought, felt if we, if they made maybe a second goal in the first half, it maybe carried them, you know, a little bit further than they actually got. But extremely proud to see the players the way they represented the country, um, just both on and off the field, was really refreshing. And um, you know, I think the future is bright. But, you know, again, you, know, you look at look at the rest of the world in Brazil, in Mexico, in Germany, um, in Spain. The teams that maybe didn't advance, you know, they're going to come back with a vengeance. So it's always very competitive. What was great about the World Cup is even emerging nations. Um, you know, there's not much of a difference from top to bottom um, of all these teams and all these countries, which you know, it really, really inspiring as a coach because you know. It, it, it truly states that this is a global game and uh, there's people all around the world have a common language and uh, with it within soccer and I think that's that that came more and more evident in, in a very good um, competitive World Cup but also I think um, it united a lot of countries and a lot of people together Viene, uh, van a jugar contra un equipo bien difícil este sábado con los Real Madrid. ¿Cómo se siente el equipo ahorita en la posición que están? No, pues, la verdad que, que nadie está a gusto con la, en la posición que estamos. ¿no? Siempre uno trata de estar peleando los primeros puestos y, y es difícil ver la tabla y verte de, de la mitad para, para abajo. Entonces uno tiene que ser comprometido a, a que en la siguiente semana hay una nueva oportunidad para para reivindicarte y, y dar todo y seguramente con el apoyo del público podemos sacar un buen resultado. ¿Qué importante es jugar dos partidos uh, consecutivos aquí en casa? No, bastante. Como te digo, te tenemos el apoyo del público y, y eso siempre nos alienta a dar un extra y, y darles una, una alegría para ellos. ¿no? ¿Y pensamiento de la Copa Mundial? ¿Cómo jugó México y la Copa Mundial en general? No, te quedó un gran sabor. Eh, creo que México dio un partido muy bueno contra Alemania y siempre esperamos ese quinto partido. ¿no? Y, y que esté peleando las semifinales y, y si era un sueño llegar a alguna final ¿no? pero, pero bueno, yo creo que hay bastante talento en la selección mexicana y, y algún día lo vamos a conseguir ¿Y cuál equipo te sorprendió este, este año en la Copa Mundial? Eh, Croacia Croacia fue, fue algo que, que no sé si lo esperaban muchos pero fue un fútbol muy agradable okay. Muchas gracias